Galileo had observed the moon through a series of phases, and he apparently made some adaptations to uh, his instrument and uh, began ex exploring the planets. Now, Jupiter was the one that was in the most favorable position for observation. It was closest to the Earth at that particular point. And when Galileo looked at Jupiter, he saw three very bright little stars, invisible with the naked eye, on a line with Jupiter. And he remarked on that. He had no idea what they were. I mean, he thought that, of course, they were what they used to call fixed stars. In other words, the things that we call stars. But then, since it's such a remarkable configuration, he came back to it the next night. And, well, yes, there were still three stars, but their relative position to Jupiter had changed. And so within a week, he realized that what we have here are moons of Jupiter. Like the moon goes around the Earth, these moons go around Jupiter, and there are four of them. Four planets, never seen from the beginning of the world, right up to our present day. These wandering little stars make their journeys around the planet Jupiter with a marvelous speed and with mutually different motions, like children of the same family. In a little more than a week, Galileo had found the first new astronomical bodies to be discovered since ancient times. This discovery clashed with the common belief that the heavens revolved around the Earth alone. Eventually, it would bring him head to head with church dogma. But for now, Galileo was exuberant. He rushed into print because he knew he could get scooped. If we date the discovery from the first observation of Jupiter's satellites until he realized they were moons, uh, January the 7th to January the 15th, he was in print by March the 12th. The book was out. Sidereus Nuncius, the starry messenger, was an enthusiastic announcement of telescopic astronomy. The first printing sold out within days, and news spread across Europe of Galileo and his amazing telescope. Galileo became an advocate for his new astronomy and for scientific observation.